but I, today I'm pouring uh, what, what I consider to be an Australian blend, which is Cab and Syrah. Uh, it's not really. Uh, Level 4 Song recently told me that at some point in France's history, I think it was 1790, grapes were taken from the Rhone and blended with grapes from Bordeaux. So that sort of took the wind out of my sails in terms of that. But it's predominantly known in Australia as a blend. I grew up drinking that blend of, of varieties and I think they pair beautifully well. In case of mine, the Syrah is 100% whole cluster, the Cab is 50% whole cluster and the two are married. Uh, and that is drinking beautifully now. People are really uh, responding to it today. I do 100% Tanat, uh, a grape which is now apparently the variety of Uruguay, uh, known also in the Basque region um, as a grape that they've had, but a very lesser known variety in terms of American wine drinkers. Massively tannic, huge color. Usually uses a blender for those two components. Uh, but if it's on its own and it's done well, it can be an amazing break. I fell in love with it in Paso many years ago. Uh, the winery Tullus Creek, uh, who imported many of the varieties, the Rome varieties that are now planted in that region, uh, they happen to bring in Tanat. And so some of the Tanat clones come from those very first plantings. And uh, the one that I've got right now, I, I just, I love it. It's, I feel it's one of the better wines I've ever made people respond to that too. It's it's the antithesis of what you expect. You're expecting this big monstrous thing. It's very subtle. However, it does have that longevity on the palate and it hangs for a long, 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 long time. Mm. Um, which I want. I want that in my mind. And I think in, in terms of food wines, uh, good food wines tend to be mostly acid driven. I think there's been a trend to very acidic wines of the last probably five to 10 years. I, I don't know whether that's necessarily a good direction to go. I think stem tannin can hold that mid palate structure as well as uh, acid wood. Uh, so that when you're eating food, it gives you the balance that you need. It becomes a very good food wine if it has that mid palate tannic structure. Stem tannins anecdotally, because there's no research on them really, uh, tend to soften more quickly than skin tanning. They incorporate differently and they're a whole different animal. And I'm noticing now that more and more and more wineries, particularly in my region, and particularly in the boutique wineries, are starting to imply more of them in their wines because they give you something. Once you become a stem head, as I am, uh, it's very hard to go back. 